to this vlog. My name is Grace Singer and I'm a senior at Juniata College majoring in biopsychology. I'm here today to talk to you about my study abroad experience this last semester at the University of Otago in New Zealand. Let's get started! Studying abroad has always been one of my goals. I applied for the Goldman Scholarship, which is a great opportunity, and I got in after long nights of rewriting essays, asking people to read over them, but it was totally worth it. During my time abroad, I took four courses, one that was genomes, which is a genetic course, another one that is developmental psychology, the third course was a Maori performing arts course, the Maori traditions, they tell you a lot about their culture, so it was like a history plus a fun arts course where I got to learn Maori songs and perform a couple of Maori dances. <laughs> The last course I took is by Ethics, which was a really interesting uh, writing course where we discussed a lot of the ethical challenges when it comes to things like genetic testing. What was different about my program is that I went with a company named BCA or Amazaji and they basically have a director on site for us and we were five students from different schools around the US. We went on trips together, we tried New Zealand foods together, and we had each other to discuss those uncomfortable situations that we go through abroad, which is really cool. It helped me a lot. Another fun thing was that I got to live in a flat. My flat was made out of one Kiwi host and three other American students. It was really fun because it felt like a support system. My Kiwi host helped me work out the printers. He helped me find places on campus to study. He helped me get to classes when I couldn't find a class because campus was a lot bigger than at what I was used to. My favorite trips that I've been on in New Zealand were ones to the Wanaka Lavender Farm, which was absolutely beautiful. Another really cool one was to Lake Wanaka. That was my favorite drive ever. Another really cool one was my last trip, which was to Mount Cook. It was such a beautiful day. I hung out with my BCA group and we went stargazing because we got to see so many shooting stars and our driver brought out his guitar and we just sang along to songs while we watched the stars. The University of Otago is a lot bigger than Juniata. You don't always get to know your professor and sometimes lectures are recorded so you don't even have to show up to class, which was a new concept to me before COVID, of course. Not funny, I know. The hardest challenge was actually uh, the pandemic and hearing that I had to leave my semester abroad and just head back to the US. That was very hard because it was something I was never prepared for. I knew I was gonna get challenged and be uncomfortable abroad, but I never knew that I might have to just, after getting used to everything, all of a sudden leave. To end this, I would like to say that I am very grateful for everything I've experienced in New Zealand. I'm very grateful for the friendships, for the good food, real fruit ice cream, a highlight. Very grateful for the connections and cultures that I learned about, the beautiful pictures I got to take, the stars I got to see, the glow worms that I got to see, which were pretty awesome. The blue waters, the blue skies, the mountains, everything. I can't put it into words of how this experience has changed me and how much I grew because of it. I highly recommend studying abroad because it allows you to learn things that you can never learn in a classroom. You grow not just as a student, but as a person and know that it's possible, it's affordable, you can find scholarships. My point is that you can do it, because if I can do it, then anybody can. If you've made it this far into my video, thank you for watching, 
and I also want to say thank you for everybody who made my trip possible and hope to see you all on campus again.